All right, so what I've noticed for a while now is a lot of you guys that are buying properties in Lagos are doing what we call mini, mini, many more. So just trying your luck based on the location that you are trying to buy. Ideally, as an investor, there should be some certain criteria for you that you look out for in the location that you are about to buy a property. Now, before you fall for all the drone shoots, all the nice presentations, I've done the homework for you. And in this episode, we are going to be looking at five things you should look out for, particularly when you want to buy a property here in Lagos for investment. Either it's land, you want to buy the land for land banking or land flipping, is an apartment, is a house, and you want to buy that property for rental income, for short lets, or for whatever cash flow that you want to earn from that property. What are the five things you should be looking out for in that particular property? For you to decide that this location match and this location does not match. So with me on this episode, as usual, it's gonna be me doing all of all the talking. I have to be resting these days, you know. Let's let people be doing the talking. So with me, I have a great colleague who understands the Lagos market very well. Done a lot of um, properties around Ibejuleki, around the Bay, and even here on the mainland around and Tony Maryland, and he can use his um, vast wealth of experience of understanding the legal real estate market to now educate you on the different things you should look out for when you are looking at buying or investing in Lagos real estate. So with me today is uh, Mr. John. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and we'll be looking at the different things investors should look out for. Um, you no, know, Lagos is like the hotspot location here in Nigeria. If you are looking to buy real estate, and either is for cash flow, is for capital appreciation, you just can't ignore investing in Lagos. The population is there, the demand is there, the appreciation is there, the fast rate of development is there, and every now and then the Lagos government will see always come with something new, the Lake International Airport, the food and logistics. Hall. So it just shows that a lot, of, a lot of things is happening in Lagos. Yeah. So and with all these things happening, also real estate in Lagos will continue to become more valuable. Yes. So as an investor, and I, I want to invest in Lagos, and I'm looking at the Lagos map, I'm looking at different locations in Lagos, what's, what's the first thing I should look out for? Thank you so much. Um, okay, so before I go into the detail of that, first establish what's your purpose of investing. Investing, wow, good. Okay, so establish the duration of um, investment. When you want to start having Mash return, returns on, on, that, on that, that, that very very important so once you establish that then what you should be considering are things like um accessibility okay great uh, because as much as possible is the land that I appreciate not really actually the building that's true so what are those factors that make a land appreciate, appreciate. one of it is accessibility okay now from that location how can i get to every other place i want to get to okay how will people that live there okay. get to every other place or the likely places okay. that they will be getting to okay so for example a place that has a road that most of the road network around it uh, is not um constructed okay will not have the same value an appreciation as a, a, an appreciation as um a place that has most of the roads constructed yeah even in developed communities already you know places like osho the ababa expressway once that road was finished you know now it's, it's a reinforced concrete that was yeah. used they call it rigid yeah the value of the properties on that axis increased yeah as against what it used to be yeah and is the same everywhere. Yeah. So it applies also to developing um, communities or communities that are just opening up. Yeah. Like you have in the axis of Ibejuleki yeah. in some places uh, in Ibejuleki and then many places in Epe. Okay. So that's number one. The number two thing you want to consider is who are the people migrating to this community? Very, very important. Or this new place. Very, very important. Because as much as possible, what's investment? <laughs> you have a product that you are hoping people will buy. Yeah. Or rent. Yeah. Or we take on lease. Yeah. So it's about people. Yeah. Right? So 
what is the caliber of people uh moving to that area exactly now it might be presently it might also be for sure future yeah so you can be it can be a momentary thing you can also be futuristic exactly in your approach exactly. and all these things are very important very, and that's very. why it's good for investors especially those in diaspora to work with guys like you yeah they understand the local market yeah. you have adequate local knowledge can predict based on data because it's not enough to do wishy washy exactly. and i mean you know predictions of um what things will be yeah you have the fact and the fact figures you have the fact and figures to to back it up yeah and what, what, what some of our investors don't understand particularly when it comes to income class is a location particularly a, a posh let me lose that word posh location just because we had that posh location doesn't mean that everywhere in that location is posh doesn't mean now because we have lucky does not mean that everywhere in lucky is posh yeah there are parts in lucky where is slum and there are parts in lucky where is classy yeah. you understand now so you want to be sure that that part that you are investing is where the right people are being attracted to Thank you. because everything about real estate is demand and supply yeah and because price will be a big determinant factor you want to be sure that whatever price you are setting on your own property you are attracting the people that can pay for it Affordability. and that's why you see um there was one day i was talking to one of my colleagues and he was telling me that a particular uh woman she, she's in aspo and then she put the property around um orchid put it out on short legs and then maybe after a couple of months she just want to sell it with all the furniture in it okay. basically because just just that was not moving okay you, you understand so and all these uh, all uh, uh, and the reason why short let may not likely move in orchid is that orchid is saturated you get presently orchid is saturated and you have different classes of um apartments and buildings yeah. in orchid so still it gives credence to what we are trying to explain here that you should be able to determine based on facts and figures that okay this should be the appropriate um, apartment type or building types that should be constructed in this place considering the caliber the income class of the people coming into it or people that will come into, into it, it in the, the future. future yeah you yeah. understand it's very important so that they can afford your what property your, your, and you for the price if we come out to the lucky you are talking about that you say okay when we talk about posh there that you are talking about luxury exactly uh, it, it's it's not as though every part the nigeria um real estate um um space is unique yeah except places like say ikoyi that have premium luxury yeah for most of the places yeah even there you have close to certain barracks so on the side that close to the yes that okay people live in and yeah. it's still equally yeah. anyway yeah, so right. in lucky for example uh, land in lucky is going for from 300 million yeah. upward now and what that means is that someone that just needs say two bedroom apartments three bedroom apartments so that can be easy access to work and uh, school for his children yeah. or, or or maybe business for yeah. himself or his wife yeah may not be able to afford it yeah because i would like buy 350 million era land and what do i want to build what do i want to build <laughs> you can't even afford it yeah but there are people that at the moment that need apartment in lekki messinate yeah. um apartment two bedroom apartment, apartment three bedroom some apartment one bed. some even one bed you understand so there is a higher demand now in lekki as of today lekki ikate axis for apartment um, um more than you have for duplexes definitely you understand yeah and it's the same understanding based on other facts too that you should consider before you say okay well, places i want to invest in places like ibejuleki yeah i want to invest in places like Ekwe, yeah and this will be the kind of you know structures that i will be building there yeah you understand we understand for example that um um the businesses that are already in existence and that will be coming that will be some sort of value chain yeah uh, um from having the lucky fit rate zone yeah. there the lucky deep sea port yeah dangote refinery yeah. the proposed new international airport yeah so you should understand that 
that would be some sort of cluster of income classes yeah so you will have premium you know luxury yeah. and then you have those um average average middle you just go low, low, trickle down yeah, like that so yeah. You are the one that should now say, okay, this is what you want to position for. Position this for class is thank you. What you are targeting. And as a result, this is where I should buy my land. land. If I'm buying my land in social location, this is the kind of building I should build there. Exactly. To attract, to attract this attract. particular thank income you. class that I'm so, making. Let's say in places border towns with Ekpe at the Ogun State Taxes. Okay. You want to be thinking of the likes of what is happening in K12 today. Yeah. The Ojota of today, yeah, the Anopaja of today, yeah, with respect to the new, I mean, to the Marital Line International Airport, yeah, you understand. So, most people, most not all, of course, most people living in this area are um, young people, yeah, the demography, yeah, young people that are just starting their family or have their children in primary school, yeah, moving to secondary school. So, what they want is just apartments, yeah, you understand. But closer to Marital Line International Airport, say, Keja GRA and the like you will be doing duplexes yeah. there right so all this understanding are based on some other fact the fact remains that people should understand your work is your work and just as you have expert doctors that know what they are doing they are efficient they're adequate proficient at their work yeah it's the same way you have quack doctors no pun intended yeah so it's not enough to say oh my cousin is a realtor my brother is a realtor how informed is your brother about your about investment about what's about obtainable about your in the purpose, industry yeah about your purpose on your you understand uh, too. is this person versatile about you know the industry yeah you understand and and investors must put that in mind to work with um trusted and efficient realtors you know like yourself so that the money is where they want it to be yeah very important so we have established that number one consider accessibility yeah number two consider the income class the income class yeah that are living there or that will are be moving there, there in the future then number three that income class will determine the number three yeah the kind of structure and building you should build there yeah although there are also regulations yeah you may want to check with regulations yeah, physical too. planning physical planning, people, urban planning, planning and all of that and yeah. certain estates also do that, not that's true, allow that's certain type of development building. yeah yeah you should ask your um you know ask property guy about <laughs> this is they don't have to be raising you don't to ask him about these things because some men say for example just want terraces duplexes yeah. they don't want apartments yeah established or some certain plots certain plots in the estate uh -huh. they will tell so, you that this certain section is bungalow section yes this certain section is duplex section yes. and to be very frank with you this is just a tip. This is just an extra tip for you. If you are building that house and you don't plan to stay there, don't pick a bungalow section. Because if you pick a bungalow section, you are limiting your investment. Yeah. That location can boom in the future, yeah. and then everybody is doing high rises, and you are tied to doing a bungalow. Yeah. And what something you can do two floors or three floors, yeah. and there'll be developers begging um uh, build their own land that yeah. want to do jv don't thank worry you. you don't even have to bring your money thank you, you understand thank so you. if it's a place you don't intend to stay just tell the company i don't want the bunker section which section do you have that i can go highest give me land there so even though you may not do it yourself or anything but if that place mature you know that you have that advantage and whoever you are signing jv with they can go as high as possible and get better better so this this all these tips are very very small very very minute but these things can okay, for example let me give you a very good example about this house in the states the, the main estate itself is strictly bungalows that you can do there now if I'm asking, max you can they, they can sell a three bed right now there is like 35 million 50 million for a three bed bungalow let you buy three let you buy one rather let you buy one mm -hmm. a three bed apartment in let you buy one is 58 million and it's an apartment yeah just one block yeah and i can bet you that if they join two semi-detached bungalows in a that's 55 55 million that's 110 one ten million mm. two so you, you own two bungalows there is one ten million you can make Thank you. but that same land size at lucky scheme two 
You can have that 55 million or 50 million. You can have six there. Thank you. Uh, actually, uh, Rabiu, I was going to add, you know, to listing the points that I, I have prepared, that that word land holding, let me use that word, land okay. holding. I, I know that in law, it has certain interpretation. Yeah. But what I wanted me to say is land banking in okay. our own industry. Okay. okay. Um, investors should understand that your land has higher potential than your buildings. Yeah, just like you have you have you have been describing, you 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 can't absolutely be certain how a area will perform exactly. in the next 10, 15, 20 years. Yes, exactly. But once you are too quick to erect certain buildings in some places, you have, limits. You have limited the potential of return on investment on that land. Yeah. And like we said, a an astute investor should be conscious always of the fact that it's the land that appreciates, not, not the, the building. building. Yeah. So if you put that in mind, don't joke with your land. And don't play away with owning a land. I want to say this to all your viewers. They should appreciate that, okay? Human beings are terrestrial. Yeah. Uh, as a result, we if we live on land, the people that have land have leverage over those that don't have. Definitely. You understand? Let's establish that. So going back to the question you asked, uh, another thing they would consider after the first three that I've listed is the security okay. of that uh, location. Um, what, what has been the security, security history? The security report of that because you know it said when we had issues of ikorodu exactly that what was the name ikorodu boys um, and what no, they call Bado. them Bado. Bado. Uh -huh. it still affects ikorodu market down to today many people left their property property owners to go elsewhere and rent properties not to even talk of people that rent their properties there. There. so imagine someone rented the property and still has nine months for the due date will you say um landlord please return my money <laughs> my, my to me you can say that <laughs> it's not liable that is a first major yeah you know and as that is beyond the control of either of you and then as a result um that happens so uh, you consider the for me so far the like has not witnessed any major security you crisis with the, well, even with the, 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 one of the, the one of the most peaceful places in Lagos that I know. Yeah, because uh, as this is the place we go almost every time. Yes, we go there every time. And then, of course, in our work, from time to time, we begin to pick history. Because it's also part of our work. You can't be a seasoned um, realtor in Nigeria or anywhere else. And then, especially if you deal with land sales and you don't appreciate the place of history. Yeah. One of the things that will give you edge over or to help you serve your clients better is to have history of that place history of the people history of the family yeah and most of the time you can't um you you wouldn't have learned family history without appreciating the family the, the history of that community, community itself or in some places even the village yeah you understand so security then another thing is um government interest yeah what's the government so this is where uh people should appreciate that you need a realtor to invest in real estate anywhere in the world. You need a seasoned realtor because you would have information. A seasoned realtor has, has information that you don't have yeah. about the future of a place. Yeah. Because also we work with people in government. Exactly. You understand? We we you have to pilot them because you need information. That, that are already shared with you some certain Thank info. you. Thank you. I see some of your videos and I understand that. Ah, there is no way I'll be without getting this. <laughs> <laughs> expo. Without the room of giving me the expo. The expo. So, 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 you, you need people that can tell you that, okay, see, a land of two million that seems very far today, sir, please buy it. Because this is the plan of the government for so, so, so place yeah. in the next 10, 15 years. Yeah. And at times, so the funny thing about government project and plan is that at times they come later, at times they come earlier. Yeah. You understand? It is um, as event unfold that government decide to say, okay, let us put this project in motion. Exactly. You understand? 
And so, as much as possible, you don't want to live in this place. If it is guaranteed that your investment is going to be secured, as you are buying cities, also go for the bushes. Yes, that's very important. Very important. Very because important. Because eventually, you might be surprised that 15 years down the line, 20 years down the line, even the bush will now start performing better than the city. Much better than the city. Okay, for example, let me let me give you a, a real life experience. Now, when we moved to um, around K2 around um, 2006, we left, we left so we went to around 2006. So, um, our Arabic school, the headquarters was in Abidjo Jari. Abidjo Town, not even the Jari, Abidjo Town. But Abidjo Jari have been there as, as far back as 2006. Yeah. During Tunibu's um, regime. Yeah. So, we always go there for like two or three times a year for special occasions. Now, we are young then, now we're just like 9, 10, 11. We, the kids, we always enjoy going there because at least we're not at home, we can play mm -hmm. ball, we can go to the stream and everything. But if we, while we are going, while we are moving, We'll be complaining that ah wow, see what kind of journey is this Bush. one? Uh, we live in the entire country, we are there, we go and everything. We are now going to Abidjan. What are you going to go and do the year now? Eh? So it was pure bush then. Yeah. Mm. Now that same Abidjan right now, the GI right now, the same place landmark is selling a three bed apartment for fifty million. Yeah. And not to dispute K two, but there are some parts in K two you can't sell a three bed for fifty million. You can't. So it's, it's just to show you that by uh, the way people move, the way of urbanization move, the value of real estate in some you just go exponential. Yeah. You, you won't even be able to do the calculation that ah from what figure to, to which figure. So it's highly important that you, yeah, you can keep your investment to let like face one, you can take fine, fantastic, buy the apartment there, do your short lets, you know, or buy are off plan there buy and flip you get but you still can't ignore all this as, that is happening around the uh, that is happening around the bedulaki yeah. that is happening around some good though because yeah. the urbanization that is going there you still can't predict you it can't predict. and that's exactly how some people missed out of chevron yeah missed out of or okay. even the lucky face one. Even the lucky face one. Yeah. because they kept their gaze on ah no land so while the face one was there six million eight million yeah. they are like no, he swamp now. Nah. Before mm. we feel, before we do this, but you see, anything that comes to land, particularly, don't always look at the extra cost that you have to do to add value to it, because that extra cost, trust me, it may not even come from your pockets. 